John here guys and today we're talking about the Mobula 6 HD that I have transplanted onto a larger frame. That's right, I got the Mobula V2 frame. It's only about three bucks and everything just screws onto it and wow. This turns your Mobula 6 HD from a very nimble and capable flyer but was a bit underpowered and had very, very short flight times. I was getting 60 to 90 second flight times on the Mobula 6 HD. Um, the Mobula 6 flies so great, but when you add all the extra weight of the HD camera on this thing, it just, the 31 millimeter props of a traditional whoop size were just a little bit too small. But by simply transplanting this over to this larger frame for a couple of bucks and getting some larger 40 millimeter props, it gave it new life. This is probably one of my favorite um, micros to fly. It has the perfect combination of power. If you're thinking like the original Mobula 7, this has slightly smaller motors, right? Because it's meant for a smaller craft. This gives you a lot of that fine control. It doesn't give you the top end, top speed, top power. Um, so if you're going to go outside, it's still a pretty fun flyer, but you're not going to have the same amount of power as the original Mobula 2. But why is this in a lot of ways even better? If you're flying inside, I actually found the stock tune on this thing to fly so well. I was hitting gaps that I can rarely hit in any size micro with such ease. The amount of control is incredible. So for indoor flying, this is great and it has HD built in. That's right, this is the uh, Caddx Baby Turtle Nano thing. Um, oh no, is it the, this is the Run Cam Split Nano V3, whatever thing it is. And my goodness, the footage looks great. So a lot of times people are so focused on, can I build a two and a half quad, a two and a half inch quad that can carry the Insta360? Or maybe I can throw the Insta360 onto um, something like a tiny, tiny hawk. Well, that's two hundred dollars for a camera, one hundred twenty something dollars for the quad, um, giving you about three hundred and thirty, three hundred fifty dollar price tag for something that doesn't fly as well indoors as this. The image quality is not quite um, as good, but it's like really close. You remember the Insta three hundred and sixty Go camera footage is not as good as a GoPro by any means. So this is really, really close. And this entire formula, the Mobula 6 HD, the frame, some 40 millimeter props, comes in at under 130 bucks, under 130 bucks, like half of the price of the camera itself. So if I wanted an indoor HD capable quad that's actually fun to fly around, my goodness, this is a project for me. This is, I'm not the first one to do this. I think Albert Kim did this like way back when. He's always the first to do everything. He like sleeps crazy ideas to think of, all right? So um, kudos to Albert Kim for coming up with this formula, but I wanted to try it myself since I already had everything laying around. And my goodness. Now, the other key factor I think is having this Crossfire receiver. This quad actually has a 200 milliwatt uh, video transmitter on board. It's one of the nice features of having the Mongo 6 HD. Um, it has a stronger video transmitter. Now, by combining it with a stronger receiver, I can now comfortably fly this uh, quite far away. So if I didn't want to go outside and get some really nice footage at a park of you know family, this would be an awesome Easter egg hunt quad if you had kids or nephews or sisters or siblings, you know, whatever. Um, just absolutely so much fun. And you know, as much as we're on a quest right now to stuff the DJI system into everything small, that amount of weight just doesn't fly well. So this gets you an image. I would say that this image is actually better than a DVR from the DJI system because it's recording straight to this SD card and the whole thing is cheaper than a Caddx Vista unit by itself. What do you think in the comments, guys? What HD whoops are you flying? Are you still trying to find, are you still trying to find the perfect sin whoop like this? <laughs> Have we been overlooking this? That's been the answer the whole time. Thanks, guys.